Hey everybody, it's Paul with CDA. We're going to go ahead and get started with a powerful feature that we have in CDA called the CDA Message Center. And the real way to think about the Message Center is a means for which you can reduce your email communication within your company, send in back and forth emails to talk to uh, personnel within your company about a claim. And so instead of sending emails back and forth, what you'll do is you can use the Message Center to communicate with your team slash company about specific claims, certain claims, or anything of that nature related to your company and claims. And so what we're going to go ahead and do before we get started is I just want to point down here, right down here, as you can see, there's this little icon. Anytime you're in CDA, this icon will always appear and you just fly out and you say open message center. So that's how you open the message center and you'll get into this dialog box, which is called the message center. Then what we've done inside of a claim. So this is a claim. Go all the way to the right. We have a tab called message center. And so what this does, this allows you to send a message about this claim to anybody that's in your company. But before we get started, I want to go ahead and show you preference setting for the message center as it relates to each of your employees. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the utilities menu. You can't see me go there, but I'm in utilities. I'm going to go down to employees and I'm going to say add edit employees. And this is where you set up the preferences for each of your employees within all of the options of CDA. So what I'm going to do for our demo is I'm just going to grab the CSR agent. I have all these tabs. I'm going to go ahead and go to the Message Center tab. And then we're going to go over these options that we're going to allow a customer service agent to do. But if you're the owner or have high level managers or, or HR, you'll want to go ahead and set these preferences specific for your company. So we're going to say, can this agent access the Message Center? They can. Can they add a message? They can. Can they open a message? They can. Can they delete a work order or a work order message? We're going to say no. Can they delete personal messages? We're going to say no. And that would include their own. Can they purge messages? We're going to say no. Can they view messages belonging to other users? We're going to say no. And can they open messages belonging to other users? So we're going to say no. So you would set up these preferences for what works best in your company. So now let's go ahead and take a look at all of our options when we're in a claim and we're in the message center tab. So this is going to be the claim number. This is the customer. This column is, is it urgent? So we have two urgent messages that were sent from Paul, sent them to myself. Again, this is just a demo. I'll explain the rest of this later. These were the date and times they were sent. The alert date, I'll get into more of that uh, in a little bit, but this is going to be, generally speaking, the date that it was sent. So these two will generally match up unless you do an alert, which I'll explain later. Then we have our topic, our priority can either be urgent, high or low, which I'll explain later. And then we're going to have the status. So we have two messages that have not been read by Paul. And so what we're going to do is we're going to say, let's make a new message. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come down here and what our options are is I can say add a recipient. So let's go ahead and send a message for this claim to Peter. So we're going to go ahead, type in a P. We're going to pick Peter. We're going to say OK. And then you'll notice we have send to all. This is generally going to be clicked if you're the owner or a C-level person and or if you're HR. This will send a message to everybody letting them know something about a claim or some incident that may have to do with CDA. Or you'll determine why you'd want to use that. That's just a few examples of why you'd want to use it. And then what we're going to say is we're going to want to say that this customer is a little confused and refuses to make a copay. And so this is a CSR agent who's going to be, or it could even be me, sending a message to Peter who handles these type of things. And their message is going to say, hey, Peter, 
As you can see from the text thread, the customer is very agitated and annoyed that they need to make a copay. This is very common in the industry. A lot of customers don't know about copay. And then I'm saying, or the agent would say, hey, I took this customer off the schedule for now uh, until you speak with our RSM Randy. And then what I'm going to do to explain alert, I'm going to say, can you get to, I told customer, I told customer we text back by Friday. So now what I'm going to do is on the alert date, I'm going to set it for Friday. So let's explain what just happened. I'm sending a message to Peter. I gave him the topic. These are the date and times I created my message. I want to alert Peter again, even though Peter can read, is going to read it, he's going to get another alert on Friday because we told the customer we would get back to them by Friday. So that's why and how you can use the alert. Over here we have reference which says claim. Never change the claim number or uh, it'll cause some issues when you sort for claim and personal, uh, which I'll explain later. We have our customer. We recommend you don't touch these. And then here's the priority. We're going to say high or urgent. We'll use it as urgent. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit send. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and hit send. And so you can see um, customer refuses to do GoPay. And now let's jump in to the main message center. I'm uh, in a demo, so I have preferences or permission to read Peter's messages. Let's go to Peter. And lo and behold, there it is. So what Peter can do is he can right click, he can open the message, he can reply to the sender, who just happens to be me, or it could have been a CSR agent. We can reply to all, we can forward the message to someone else, we can delete the message if we have permission, we can move it to the save folder, and or we can move it to the archive so that's save folders like an archive we can display the work order and the reason why we can do that is because the reference field has the claim number so if we manipulate the claim number we won't be able to open up the claim and i can even text the customer like we said we would and let them know that we can help them so let me go ahead and show you that so i'm going to send this customer a text message because we already know this information and you can see it already opened up and now I can tell the customer anything I want and I can also read previous text message threads that the CSR agent or anyone else was talking about for this customer. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to close that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move back to me. So we were in Peter's inbox. Now we're going to go back to me. I'm Paul. I'm going to hit refresh and now let's go ahead and take a look at the message center when you open it from down here. So I'm no longer in the claim. This is what the claim message center looks like. Again, I was over here, but now I'm in the actual message center app within CDA. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to log out of CDA. I'm going to log in as myself as Paul, and then I'm going to show you the prompt that CDA will give you if you have messages in your message center at the point to where you log in. So let's go ahead and do that. And then you'll notice it says, hey Paul, you have 500 messages, three are urgent. Would you like to display your messages now? I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. And so you can see there are more messages in the message center. So again, I have my urgent, my from, my dates, my alerts, which we went over. Again, we have the topics, the reference, the priority, are they urgent, are they high, are they low? And then a really important one here is status, has anything been marked as red or is it new? And then if you look down here, you'll see it says, hey, Paul, you have unread messages, three are urgent. And then you'll notice it says, show all messages. I can say, show new messages, check the show all. It says show urgent, so it's going to show those three. And then uh, it's going to go ahead and say show today's. 
then what it's going to say is it's going to say show saved folder and or show the archive folder so there's an archived message I'm going to go back to show all i'm going to say filter by claim which is going to take that column there then it's going to say show personal and so it's going to filter on there and it's going to show personal so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and send a new message and we're going to make a personal this time so what we're going to do we made a new message we're going to say let's send a message to peter and we're going to send one to kimberly so there's peter and then we're going to come up here and we're going to send it to kimberly so we're going to send it to two peter two people pardon me and we're going to go ahead and say done and now in this particular example unfortunately we have a customer that is claiming we have a damage claim so we're going to go ahead and i'm going to tell peter and kimberly hey i just heard from michelle and customer service the customer is claiming that our tech larry jump up and down on the washing machine because they heard a loud noise uh, this is very common most customers hear loud noises in their um, garage and they think the tech is rustling their unit and of course when they go back in there lo and behold they start seeing scratches that they've never seen before and so i'm saying hey can you reach out to larry the tech and hope that he has before and after pics and can you make sure again that you speak to him no later than friday so what i'm going to do i'm going to set an alert for friday so now both peter and kimberly are going to get an alert for uh, this message that i'm sending and then we'll just say the customer is Jefferson and I'm going to make it urgent. And now what's going to happen is this message uh, will show up only in Kimberly and Peter's inbox. It will not show up to this claim. So you make a determination on whether you want claims to show up uh, whether you want messages, excuse me, you make the determination whether you want messages to show up within the claim or if you just want them to stick internally to individuals within your company. So I'm going to go ahead and say send. And so that message sent, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Peter and you're going to see we have a damage claim. It's personal because there is no claim number in the reference it will not go into that claim. So if we opened up that claim and we went to Message Center, any personal messages that don't have the claim number in the reference will not show up. So I just want to make sure I explain that distinction. Also, if I say send text message or display work order, there is nothing to display. There is nothing to text because there is no reference for a claim number. Again, I can move it to the archive, I can delete it, I can forward it, I can again do reply all, um, I can do all those things. So I can go ahead, open the message, just going to bring it over here, and then I can see uh, everything that happened with the message. So that will conclude our video on how to use the message center within CDA.